All right, hello, hello, and welcome back to another fabulous day in the art room. All right, this is lesson is for my kindergarten friends. If you missed our last class, uh, no worries. I'm gonna go ahead and go over this here uh, and add it to our YouTube channel. Hi, you should be on the YouTube channel. Hi, uh, if you missed this lesson, uh, my kindergarten friends. Okay, so. Uh, my kindergarten friends, today we're going to be talking about lines, all right? Curvy and straight lines. We're going to be practicing them in a work of art today, all right? Uh, when I start this lesson, I usually read uh, this classic book, which I won't read here um, for copyright reasons, but I do highly recommend uh, uh, checking out at your local library or wherever you like to get your books from. Uh, checking out a copy of Snowmen at Night. It's a fabulous book about what snowmen might do at night. Cool, cool stuff. All right, so I read that book and then we go ahead and we get started and I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, uh, with you today on how we're gonna draw a snowman, okay? I need you to go ahead and go get a pencil and a paper, okay? Awesome, go get a pencil and a paper. All right, you got it? You got your pencil? You got your paper? All right, here's what we're gonna do. This box is gonna be my paper, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by practicing a curvy line, okay? I'm gonna draw a curvy line, a curved line, going around and making a big circle. This big circle is the bottom of my snowman. My snowman is made up of how many circles? One, two, three, very good, all right? So I've got my curved line making the bottom of my snowman. Excellent. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead on top of that, I'm going to make another curved line for my second circle. Look at that. One, two, one, two, look at that. This is the middle circle for my snowman. Excellent. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and on top of that, I'm going to do another curved line and make the snowman's head. Look at that. Now I've got one, two, three circles. All my circles are touching, all right, because all my snowman snowballs are right on top of each other. A big one, medium, and small. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and make my snowman's eyes. I'm going to draw one circle, two circles for his eyes. When we build snowmen, we usually use rocks for the eyes and the mouth, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and do some more circles. I'm gonna do these ones for the mouth, giving us a great big smile. Great big smile for our snowman. Awesome. I might go ahead and add in the middle circle. I'll add some circles for the buttons. Look at that. Awesome. Those are some awesome curved lines that we just drew. Good job, you did an awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna practice our straight lines, okay? Check this out. I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna draw a straight line up and down, just like that. Excellent. All right, now I'm gonna draw another straight line going down. And then I'm gonna connect them with another straight line. It's gonna make a triangle. Look at that. I just made a triangle for his carrot nose, for my snowman's carrot nose. Oh my goodness. Yes. You might even add some thin lines, all right? Right there on the nose, on the carrot nose to make it look like the carrot's nice and bumpy. All right. Very good, some good straight lines. All right, now we're gonna practice our straight lines for stick arms, okay? For his stick arms, I'm gonna start on them in the middle, all right, this middle circle. I'm gonna draw two lines this way and two lines this way. Excellent, excellent. All right, next I'm gonna draw a little line on this side, 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 some more straight lines. But I'm not done yet. Watch this trick, all right? Watch this neat trick, okay? I'm gonna use a different color so you can see it better. All right, if I start here and I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, <gasps> I just made stick arms, check that out. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Now my snowman looks like he's yay, so happy to be here. All right, 
Awesome. Next, I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line across behind my snowman. <gasps> Excellent. All right, that's that line that separates the ground from the sky. So the, everything below this line is the ground. Everything above it is the sky. Excellent. Awesome. Now I'm going to give my snowman a hat. Are you ready? Okay. I'm going to draw a straight line across right on top of his head. Right on top of his head. Excellent. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw another straight line across on top of his head. Excellent. Then I'm going to connect them with up and down lines, up and down straight lines, just like that. What it's going to look like, it's going to look like he's got a long, thin rectangle sitting right on top of his head. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. You're doing great. Now remember, if I'm ever going too fast in this video, you can rewind, you can pause. That's totally fine. Totally fine. You can watch this video as many times as you need to to stay with me. No worries. All right. It's got a rectangle on his head. Now I'm going to do the top of his head. I'm going to go up, across, and down with my straight lines to make a box. And now he's got a top hat on. Yes. You can add extra things to the top hat. If you want to add, maybe you want to add a flower. Maybe you want to add some stripes. That's up to you. All right. Maybe you want to give him a scarf. You could draw a line across his neck, down, across and make a little scarf for him. If I add a little box down here, oh, I can make a scarf. Check that out. I might even add some thin lines for stripes on his scarf. Excellent, you're doing great. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and on this line, I'm gonna start on that line and I'm going to do some more straight lines, more practice with drawing our straight lines. Are you ready? Okay. I'm going to go up, across, and down. All right? That just made a box. We're going to make the house back here. That just made a box. All right. To make that triangle roof, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go straight line up, straight line down to make a triangle roof. Check that out. Excellent. Next, you can draw a door up, across, down with a dot for that doorknob. You could do some windows across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down. You might even add some details to the windows. Maybe you like to do the windows where there's a plus sign in the window. You could do that. You could add a chimney on your house, up, across, down. You could even do a fancy chimney where you add a long skinny rectangle on top of that. You could even add a squiggle line for the smoke coming out of the chimney. Excellent. You could also add, if you wanna make your roof look really realistic, you can even add some boxes on your roof to look like the shingles of the house. The shingles on the roof of the house. There you go. Excellent. Do you want to practice drawing your snowflakes now? Oh, great. Okay, take your pencil and put it on your paper. Draw an X. Those are two straight lines. X. Then draw another line through it. And another line across it. Ooh, look at that. A snowflake. And you can practice that as much as you need. X. Line down. Line across. Excellent. To make some snowflakes. All right. If you want, you could even add some snowballs. Like a snowball fight. Maybe someone just got in a snowball fight. You could even add a present. If you want to add a present. It's up to you. All right, 
Awesome. After you're done drawing, then it's time to color. Use whatever you've got at home and you can go ahead and color in. Remember, if you want this to count as part of as credit towards your art grade, you need to take a picture of it and send it to my email address. If your adult uses Remind, they can also send that picture to me on Remind. All right. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I can't wait to see you next art class. 